Now here's Gian for the last time before she leaves us to have her baby. Thank you very much, Mitch. Well, it was a cool, cloudy day for Melbourne and it's also seen us record over six millimetres of rain in the city gauge in the last 24 hours. We reached a top of 22.9 degrees just after 3.30 this afternoon, following an overnight low of 19.7. Well, at the moment, it's around 20 degrees. Now, the largest annual keelboat regatta in the Southern Hemisphere is underway, with yachts in the Festival of Sails leaving Elwood this morning. It attracts more than 350 entries and running alongside the sailing action is a free three-day community waterfront festival in Geelong. Back on the satellite now where a broad mass of cloud is moving across the country from the west. The cloud over East Gippsland and the east of Bass Strait is also carrying thunderstorm activity. A low pressure trough over far eastern Victoria will clear to the east tonight as a high pressure system moves east tomorrow before crossing Bass Strait early on Sunday. Around the country tomorrow, Brisbane rain easing and 30 degrees. Possible early showers in Sydney with 24, 28 and sunny for Adelaide, a possible shower and 34 in Perth. Across Victoria tomorrow, where isolated showers over southern and mountain districts will contract to Gippsland during the morning before clearing by the afternoon. Moderate southerly winds will be fresh near the coast, so mild and partly cloudy in the south, warmer and sunny in the north. Closer in, showers possible throughout, 21 for Geelong, down to 17 for Mount Dandenong, 22 in Yarra Glen, 20 in Frankston. It'll be a partly cloudy day for Melbourne tomorrow. It should remain dry apart from the chance of light isolated showers in the morning. Southwesterly winds will build up to 35 kilometres an hour before becoming light later in the day. And we're looking at a top of 21 degrees. And looking further ahead to some warmer temperatures. 29 Sunday, 35 Monday before a hot 39 on Tuesday. We dip below 30 on Wednesday before it picks up again for the end of the week. So cooler tomorrow, Mitch, but our hot January continues next week. Thank you, Gian. We'll say goodbye shortly. And before we go, we would like to say a very fond and temporary farewell to Gian Rooney, who you might have noticed is about to become a mum. <laughs> Gian, it's been lovely having you present the weather this past year. Oh, Please accept gorgeous. those. <laughs> Beautiful <Zara's> flowers. <laughs> we wish you all the best in motherhood, and we know that you and Sam will make terrific parents. Uh, jo Silvani starts on Monday, and uh, I'm sure you'll join us in wishing her the best of luck as she steps into your shoes as you go on maternity leave. Oh, thank you so much, Mitch, and it's been an incredible ride. I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. I have to say a huge thank you to you, uh, Tim Watson, obviously Sandy last year, and the gorgeous Jen Kite, but also all the staff that go into putting this amazing production we call News Together week after week. Thank you. Um, where Sam and I are very excited. We're also a little nervous because the sleep factor I'm not great with, so yes, fingers indeed. crossed. But the gorgeous Jo Silvani is presenting the weather on Monday and she'll do a great job. Yeah, so can't on, wait for her to start. Good on you, Gian. All the best. Thank good you. luck. Thank you. Coming up after the break, meet the Australians doing us proud in the most...